so it is five in the morning. Well, it's about 5.30 right now. I am very tired. I am up early because I've been trying to get up at five on weekdays so I can get a morning to myself and have time for yoga and um, just have a little more time in the mornings. Tim normally gets up at five to go to work at six. Um, he does that Sunday through Wednesday. Um, so on Thursdays and Fridays when he's not up, it's been harder for me to get up because I apparently sleep right through the five o'clock alarms that I set. I don't mean to, but, um, so it's Sunday and I don't work today. I'm off on Saturdays and Sundays, but I am up because I want to get an early start to my day and start getting used to being up at 5 a.m. Um, and so I'm hoping to get some writing in today as I finish my coffee this morning. Well, some writing in this morning while I finish my coffee and then do some yoga and get an early start to my day. Um, I do have a while until the grocery store opens. It doesn't open until nine o'clock. Um, but that's the only thing I have to do today and I want to get that done early so I have the entire day to write. I haven't had an entire writing day in forever. So I wanted to vlog today and I wanted to write today, obviously. Um, work is getting pretty busy. We're getting into the holiday season and we have a ton of concerts coming up. So that means a lot of like late nights. So I wanted to make sure I had at least one day a week where I can get a lot of writing done because my goal is still to finish this zero draft by the end of the year. Um, I'm not as far as I wanted. I'm still only about halfway through. So I need to be really strict. And I started to, <clears throat> excuse me, um, calendar block my time. I tried that before and stuff and never really stuck to it, but I'm adamant about sticking to it now. Um, I spent a couple days this week really planning out my days and my weeks so I can stick to it. Um, also, before I forget, um, as you can tell, I'm having a bad, a really bad skin day. I bought a new face wash um, last week because when I went to Target, my normal one was out and I had used this face wash before without anything happening, but apparently my skin decided not to like it this time around. So I'm having a really bad reaction and I apologize that you have to see all of this. Um, not that like acne is anything to be freaking out over because we all get acne. Um, but I'm not going to be wearing any makeup or anything today because I need to let my skin breathe because I usually wear a lot of makeup at work, especially for the concerts. But anyways, also please do not suggest anything in the comments. I have heard it all. I have had acne like this for like 15 years. <laughs> I've been to multiple doctors. I just had a bad reaction to a new face wash that I didn't realize I would have a bad reaction to. So, um, but it, this is actually better than it was when I woke up yesterday. <laughs> so when I woke up yesterday, it was really, really bad. Um, I don't remember what I was saying now, but yeah, I'm hopefully going to spend the whole day writing. Um, I want to, there's a couple of scenes that I'm hoping to get done today. Um, a couple of big important scenes and yeah, so I will update you guys later. I've rambled on too long. Um, you guys don't want to see me ramble on about junk. You guys want to see me write and be, and get progress done, right? Right. It's early. I need more coffee. <laughs> I'll check it.
writing so far. Um, I didn't get a lot of writing done. I just kind of relaxed. Didn't, what did I do this morning? I ate, I showered, I did yoga. I read a lot of The Witch Hunter. I don't feel like getting up, but it's like right over there. <laughs> it's really good so far. It's about, um, it's a historical fantasy novel. Well, I don't, I wouldn't say it's historical because it's not technically in England, but the country is called Anglia and it's a different king. Um, it takes place in, I, they said the year, I think it's like 1558, um, but the king is King Malcolm and not, 1558 was Elizabeth, yeah. Um, but, right, it was Elizabeth. Because I, I know she ruled until like 1601. 58 should have been Elizabeth. Anyways, right? Whatever. <sighs> um, so it's good so far. It's about a witch hunter who then gets accused of being a witch. So it's really good so far. I read about 100 pages or so. Um, it's a pretty fast read. Um, but yeah, and now I'm going to be done rambling because you guys don't want to see me ramble on. You guys want to see me write. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write. I have a very full cup of coffee. And I'm going to be having breadsticks for a mid, I don't know, it's like 9 o'clock, but since I've been up since 5, I'm hungry. I had scrambled eggs this morning, felt like I'm hungry, so I'm going to have some breadsticks because it's pretty much all we have in the house right now because I still need to go grocery shopping. <laughs> and uh, I will check in with you guys later. Hi. Hi. Hello. It is quarter after one in the afternoon, and I have written one sentence today. I know, I'm terrible at this. <laughs> Um, I went grocery shopping and I just kind of enjoyed the time out. I went to the Dollar Tree, I went to Five Below, I went to Target, and I got some cute Halloween decorations and just kind of looked around. I got some cute candles. And then I decorated my front stoop a little bit. I'll show you guys in a second. Um, I was getting really frustrated with my scene this morning. Um, I wrote some scenes and the timeline didn't quite add up um, because I had multiple point of views and I was writing Ariadne's scenes in a different timeline than I was like Guinevere and Anwell's and the timing didn't match up because um, it was at a point where Guinevere and Anwell like left Camelot for something and Ari was behind and well, she stayed in Camelot and the timing didn't match up because Ari scenes, I wrote, it went like Ari, Gwen, Will, Ari, Gwen. And Ari scenes took place over the same day where like Gwen and Will's took place over like a week. <sighs> and I was like, shoot. So I don't know how I'm gonna fix this because like, I didn't want, because I don't have, their scenes aren't very long in the book. Like the longest scenes they have are maybe like three or four pages at a time. So I didn't want Ari's to just keep going, but then you don't want to cut the scene off before it's natural ending. So it's a struggle. And then I've been watching like all these writing advice videos lately and starting to doubt my work and my characters and my scenes and my plot and I started to spin spiral downwards and then I saw another video this morning that kind of gave me the remind reminder that I needed that like it, the video was stop reading writing books <laughs> stop reading books on how to write stop reading stop watching videos on how to write and just write your book like just write the damn book and I needed to see that this morning so I, I had stared at my computer for like half an hour with like one sentence and I had a vague idea of this scene, but I really didn't. So I didn't even have an idea of like what to summarize it. Like I knew something needed to happen, but I didn't know how to set the whole thing up. So it was a struggle. So I went out of the house to kind of just clear my mind and I ended up wandering and that took like three hours. I don't know what time I left. I don't remember, but it's like 1.20 now. So I have a snack and I have some emergency because everybody at work is getting sick and I refuse. I refuse. So, um, 
I'm gonna chug emergency like it's nobody's business and eat all of the oranges. <laughs> no, that's too much. But um, I'm still gonna chug the emergency like it's nobody's business. <laughs> but I'm gonna spend the next half an hour trying to get some writing done and then, okay, she's not in the kitchen. I'm gonna take the dog on a walk. She knows how to spell the word too, so like I can't even spell it out. Um, and then we're gonna play in the backyard and I might set up our archery target today because I feel like, I feel like, I feel like it. That sounds like fun. Um, I do need to work out at some point today, probably after dinner. Might do that tonight. It energizes some people, but like it makes me tired. So like after I'm done exercising, I'm like ready for bed. <laughs> um, but yeah, so okay. It is 122. The next half an hour I'm gonna write. Let's do this. the opening paragraph a light bulb moment went off and I had the thought of inserting this scene that's gonna happen in a couple chapters to this chapter and it just fits like it's amazing it literally felt like a weight off my shoulders <laughs> because it just flows so naturally and I don't even have to change the scene other than the setting so instead of it taking place inside the castle it now takes place outside so that's not a big deal at all I don't have to change like any of the dialogue so it's phenomenally fantastic and I'm excited about it. Um, but I wanted to check in with you guys because I had that moment of clarity and it felt wonderful. Um, yeah, it's about three o'clock. I have nothing to do except write today and prep dinner in like an hour. But other than that, I don't have anything to do but write and that feels amazing. I haven't had a day like this in so long, like probably months. Oh, and it just feels so good. So I'm gonna get back to writing. And uh, let's see what I've seen. So I've been editing this vlog for the last like two and a half hours and it's really long. <laughs> it's already like 15 minutes long. I still have a little more editing to do, but since it's about quarter to six already, I think I'm gonna end this here. Uh, I've got some more writing done. I didn't do as well as I'd hoped, but considering I've been really busy the last month and I've been really, my brain hasn't been where it needs to be for writing, like I haven't been in the mindset. I got a lot done today, so I feel good about what I did today. I still have a lot more to do. I might take a break and read for the rest of the night though because my eyes are starting to hurt. Um, Tim will be home soon and I might just chill out on the couch. Um, I will have weekends mostly free from now on, so I think weekends are going to be dedicated writing days. 
um, specifically. So, but thank you guys so much for watching, especially if you watched all, I don't know, probably 17 minutes of this. <laughs> um, like and subscribe, all of that, you know, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.